Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Now, when we think about professional wrestling moments, there are just some moments that will live on forever in infamy. Hulk Hogan slamming Andre the Giant. Sting defeating Ric Flair at the Great American Bash to win his first ever world title. Tanaka versus Mike Awesome willing to put their bodies on the line just so that one of them could call themselves the ECW champion. AJ Styles vs Samoa Joe vs Christopher Daniels showing the entire world what TNA's X Division was all about. Chris Jericho defeating Hangman Adam Page to become AEW's first world champion. And of course, who could forget Mick Foley being thrown off the top of the Hell of a Cell by The Undertaker. And while all those matches had a significant role of putting professional wrestling on the map, I don't believe any of those matches had the fate of the planet as a stipulation. Now, just to be transparent, the creators of this comic book series sent me this series to take a look at and read, and if I chose to do so, give it a review. And in no way will this affect my final score. An invasion from Planet WrestleTopia, Earth will be up for grab as we'll get to see Earth's own rock and roll, Rory Landell versus self-proclaimed champion over all creatures, conqueror of galaxies, known and unknown, manifest destiny. However, just like professional wrestling on TV, we just don't jump right into the 1999 Galacto Massacre pay-per-view. We need storylines. We need to build this match up, give people a reason to put their butts in the seats. And over this six issue series, creators Ed Cunell and Matt Anton will do just that as they will take us on quite the wild ride. The main focus of this story will revolve around disgruntled pro wrestler Rory Landell after refusing to do the job against Boy Scout Bob Schultz as he decides to go in a different direction with his career and proclaim himself the new galactic champion of the universe. But when word reaches planet WrestleTopia, yes, this is the planet's name, and for good reason, the man known as Manifest Destiny takes serious offense to such a proclamation as he sets his eyes on confronting Rory Lindell as Destiny believes there can only be one galactic champion and it shall be him. After enclosing Earth inside a steel cage, Manifest Destiny and his dudes with attitudes make their invasion and their presence known. Over the next six issues, the writers will take us on a slobber knocker of an adventure as we will see explosions, hallucinations, fights break out on a train, in a bar that will showcase, let's say, dancers, and yes, even a water park where the writers of this comic give a whole new meaning to the term surfing in the USA. And the locations won't be the only thing over the top as the cast of characters that we are introduced to are truly outrageous. From Earth, we will also meet such unique characters as Cousin Orville, Rory Landell's devious manager, retired wrestler Dong Fong Wong, a Canadian bear named Kodiak Jack, the tag team known as 3D. Even though they are now 1D short of being able to compete for the six-man titles, they have no problem laying the smack it down in the third dimension to their oppositions. And of course, I can't leave out the little engine that could, Macho Mondo, who will show anyone dumb enough to step in his way that this El Matador can bring any herd of bulls to its demise. And while these characters mentioned all have very unique personalities, they will actually seem quite normal after meeting characters such as Polaris, Dominatrix, and Harem Scarum, who look like they would fit in perfectly with Kevin Sullivan's Dungeon of Doom. Now, I'm someone who grew up watching wrestling in the 80s and the 90s, and one of the things I really have great appreciation for when there was a great commentary team. I especially enjoyed when there was one great heel commentator such as Bobby the Brain Heenan or Jesse the Body Ventura, and here in Invasion from Planet Wrestletopia, we will get the dynamic duel of Leo Sullivan on Play by Play and Mondo Larry Hondo taking on the role of the beloved heel announcer. One of my personal favorite lines is when Mondo is ready to turn his back on his fellow Earthlings and join the WrestleTopia invaders as he says, I'd like to welcome our new WrestleTopia masters. And Leo replies, the main event hasn't even started yet and you're already playing Benedict Arnold. And Mondo defends himself by saying, I'm no turncoat, I'm a WrestleTopian. 
I've just been stranded on Earth trying to phone home. As I was reading this comic book series, I saw a predictable ending in sight. However, in typical professional wrestling form, well, I was swerved. And that's definitely not a bad thing as the ending of this series does come to a fun and satisfying conclusion. Now, since I read this comic as a series, I'm going to review it as a series. And my final score for Invasion from Planet Wrestletopia is a very enthusiastic 9.5 out of 10. As someone who watched pro wrestling since the day I was brought home from the hospital, the story here is everything I would want and ask for in a comic book about pro wrestling. The art is fun and in your face no matter if it's done by Dan Chicade in issues one through three or Kendall Good in issues four through six. And the colors by Marissa Louise in issues one through three, Jason Lewis in issue number four, and Geo Butler in issues five and six are so colorful and vibrant, they take me back to the days when a bleach blonde sting ruled the squared circle in WCW. The story in Invasion from Planet Wrestletopia will suplex you into this world, lock you in with a figure four leg lock, and will have you hoping that the creators of this series have a few more tricks up their sleeve to expand on this far out story. Now, who would I recommend this comic to? Well, definitely wrestling fans. Whether you're a fan of the golden, attitude or present day era, there's plenty of references and great storytelling that will make a wrestling fan smile from page one till the main event. And even if you're not a professional wrestling fan, well, you don't have to be a genius on the sport as you can leap right into these pages and enjoy a fun and far out story without feeling overwhelmed by professional wrestling lingo. Now, if you'd like to check out this comic book series, it is available digitally on Comixology. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap up this comic book review for the series Invasion from Planet Wrestletopia. Now, did you guys even know this comic book series even existed? Or if you have read it, what are your thoughts? Leave me a comment down below. And guys, make sure if you're a professional wrestling fan, especially, go ahead and give this comic a shot. Head on over to the link below, check it out on Comixology, give it a read. I think you guys are gonna love it. All right, guys, if you like comic book reviews like this and all things pop culture, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.